Welcome to World Breaker Koo's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Koo, and today we're going to look at Studio Series 86, my full thoughts on this wave, as well as my full thoughts on the wave of Kingdom Transformers. Ooh, and even a versus. Which one do I think is better? Well, let's get into it. We'll start off with just the, the odd elephant in the room. This is not Studio Series Blur. I did not buy Studio Series Blur because I think it looks ridiculous. So, <laughs> I did not get it. So, maybe eventually I'll get it. So, right now, he'll be the stand-in. You just have to imagine that's, that's uh, 86 Blur because I just really didn't like it. I don't care for it. If it goes on sale, maybe. But, it's what it is. So, everything else over here, I do have from the Kingdom Line. In fact, this is every single thing, with the exception of this is Earthrise Prime. However, Earthrise Prime is the exact same as Kingdom Prime. So, you know, no flex zone. It's the same thing. All right. So, let's start with looking at Kingdom as a whole. There was only one figure in all of Kingdom that I did not want, and that was the Blur. This is, again, Tide's Return Blur. So, I can't really comment on it too much, but suffice to say... I didn't dig it, so that's a one knock against the wave. However, um, we've got right here, we've got Cup. I already had a Cup. I had, I, I, in, our, in one of my reviews, uh, recent reviews, I showed you the Tides Return Cup, and I said that this one's better. It is much better. It is a sweet, sweet figure. Transformation sucks. I hate transforming it. The transformation does look good when you get it right, but robot mode is superior. Um, if I had to rate this one out of 10, I would say at 8.5, okay? This one, I can't count because I didn't get it, so it's just a net score of a 5, mediocre, okay? Um, now, I originally thought this was going to be like the, one of the figures of the year because when I first saw it, all the accessories it came with, all the things it can do, um, it has a little thing up there where you can bring down the glasses. I mean, just sweet, sweet stuff going on, right? However, again, the transformation sucks on this. It's flat out, too panelly. Um, feels like certain parts are going to break. The shoulder is an issue. But besides that, on paper, the damn thing just looks so good. So if I had to rate this one, he was 8.5. He's a 9, okay? He's still a great figure. Still a great figure. So, so far, Studio Series is pretty damn good. Um, I finally got j a, a Jazz. Again, this is another Jazz that I improved upon. I already had one. I now have a better one. And I love this guy. I mean, the transformation is not as bad as these other two. It's actually pretty pretty simple for the most part. Not bad at all. Um, I actually like both modes better than those two. So that's uh, if I had to rate him, it'd be a 9.5. It just about doesn't get much better than this guy here. I mean, Jazz is just... Man, he's jazzy. Then we got Scourge. And Scourge, oh my damn. This guy is just amazing in both modes. The transformation only has one minor part that I don't like, and that's when you're putting the arms down here uh, into onto the legs. Like, you can pull it down, and it comes apart. I'm not going to do it right now, but suffice to say, this comes down, and it not, notches in down here. It's just a little stressful, uh, wondering if they will eventually break. And mine looks like it's cracking on the middle. Maybe not. See that right there? But um, again, this Scourge, even though it has a, quite a big backpack, it kind of fits. It's like some epic like Batwing cape. I feel like this guy would be living in like a robot uh, Cybertron version of, uh, of uh, Transylvania. And then with the leader class, of course they killed it. The only thing missing from Grimlock is his sword. And I wish they would have gone with the lighter panel right here. But besides that, this guy is freaking flawless. Um, freaking flawless. I love this figure. Um, minimal backpack. You expect that from a Grimlock. Um, you got a nice little accessory of wheelie on there. They didn't have to give that. They could have gone without, and we still would have had paid the same price. So I appreciate that. 
Uh, I will find a third party sword, but all in all, I would give Grimlock probably a 9.8. 9 He's almost perfect. So this Studio Series Wave is banging, okay? Banging. Uh, I absolutely love it. I highly recommend all of them, with the one exception of Blur. If you don't have a, a, a Blur at all, then of course you get the Studio Series Blur. If you do, mm, I think it's a pass. I've seen him several times, and he doesn't look that great. Which brings us to Kingdom. Now, Kingdom has a whole bunch of filler, okay? Because it's an actual full wave. This wave was just replacing um, the movie waves because they really haven't had any live-action movies. But I'm glad they did it because it's almost like an extension. So even though One Mate Wave has more, that does not mean it's better. So let's take a look. Um, while Studio Series does not have any core class uh, figures, um, I have three for the kingdom. Uh, Rat Trap is freaking awesome. Love this guy. Uh, Optimus Prime is kind of... You'll see when I review him. He's not that great, okay? Just to be honest with you. Uh, I forget this guy's name, um, but he's decent. He's fun. Okay, but if I had to buy them all over again, I don't think I would have bought them, if I'm being completely honest. So, uh, same thing with this guy. Um, I don't think I would have bought Paleo, Paleo Rex um, had it not been for me just being hungry for some Transformers. Because he's, he's cool. He's got some cool accessories, but I don't really need them. Um, and I feel bad because it's a cool looking thing. It's just, you get you get over it real quick. These two you get over really fast. This um, Rat Trap's a great figure. Uh, I'll probably have to rate him like an 8.5. I, I don't know. He, he's he's definitely a wanted figure. Definitely need it. Now, Black Arachnia, um, she's a great beast mode. Uh, however, the chest is really scary transforming this around because it feels like there's a notch underneath her boobs that might break off. Okay, so over time, I mean, when you get her transformed, she is excellent, but it is a little nerve wracking transforming her, especially in this area and how tight you've got to be on some of those joints. But she looks exceptional in both modes and she's definitely a 9.5 out of 10. So it, it, you can't get much better for that. I'm going to skip over Prime because, well, he's Prime, so not really necessarily need it. Um... He's a great figure, so I'd just say 9.9. .9. If you don't have a prime already, this is just about perfect. I mean, you can't really ask much more except for the truck because you should be a little bit bigger, the bed of it. Um, then we have Primo. He is a great figure. I just hate the gap there, but besides the gap, he's killer as well. Um, nice accessories. You've got the hidden gauntlets. You've got storage for your weapons. You've got the turrets up top. I mean, he's got just about everything. Sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, Primal is just, he's fantastic. His beast mode is a little bit lacking uh, just because it doesn't really line up as clean as I'd like it to. But as far as his robot look, I mean, you can't really ask for much more. The accessories are really cool. He's definitely a warranted Voyager uh, figure. And I'd have to rate him a 9.9. .9. So, so far, I mean, the ones that are hidden are freaking hidden. I mean, well, 9.5, 9.5. The ones that are on are just on. Uh, then we've got this guy. Uh, not much to say except that if I was not trying to complete all of my G1 Transformer characters that I remember from the cartoon, then I would not have bought him. He's not bad, but he's just blah. Okay? He's very blah. Like, kind of like Skytread from Siege. He's just, he's there. His transformation's decent. It's not super complicated. It looks decent, but this this is nothing you're going to say, oh, man, have you checked this out? No, it's just not going to happen. So um, he's a 7.5. He's probably a pass if you're not a completist. Now my first, first, first Kingdom figure. Um, a little disappointed in his robot mode. His beast mode's awesome, but that robot mode... Leaves a little bit to be desired, so I'd give it an, an, a solid 7.5. Um, it just was not quite what I was hoping for, but it wasn't bad. So, 7.5 for that. 
I definitely think this Kingdom Wave is amazing. And speaking of amazing, this is a 10. Um, Cyclonus is a 10. Like, no buts, ands, or about it. He is an, a 10. He is one of the best figures I've ever owned. Um, this is a must figure if you like Transformers at all. If you like robots at all. If you like design at all. He's just an amazing figure. Um, I cannot get over how much joy that figure gives me. Um, which brings me to my last figure of the Kingdom Wave. Another T-Rex leader class figure in the form of Megatron. Um, and I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Transformation. Transformation for Cyclonus is not bad. It's actually pretty simple. Um, so there's that. Megatron is hell. <laughs> it's like expert level. I hate it. Um, but I love both modes. And this face is just killer, man. So, all in all, if I had to say which which series was better, Kingdom versus um, Studio Series 86, gosh, it's hard. I'd probably say, I'd probably lean more to Studio Series, to be honest. Just because they have more figures that are just like knockouts. Um, and... Not to say that Beast, that like, because, I mean, again, we've got one, two, three, four knockout figures. But some of the rest are just kind of like, hmm, okay, not too bad. But over here, you're like, bam, 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 bam. You know, it's it's what it is. So even though it's less, I think they are, they're, they're winning right now. <laughs> I said like that. I think right now that Studio Series 86 is winning. Okay, so yeah, but thank you for watching until next time. Peace and chicken grease.